Hello, in this video we're going to look at a couple of examples involving logarithmic functions and the product and quotient rules for derivatives. So our first function is y equals 2x times the natural log of 3x plus 8. So this is a product rule. Our first is going to be 2x and our second is going to be that natural log piece. So when we apply the product rule we're going to get first times the derivative of the second. This is a natural log and so our u value is 3x plus 8 and the derivative of the natural log is just u prime over u. So u prime, the derivative of 3x plus 8 is 3 over 3x plus 8 plus our second natural log of 3x plus 8 times the derivative of the first which is 2. And so if we um, combine a little bit here, 2x times 3 is going to give us 6x in the numerator, and we'll get 3x plus 8 in the denominator on the first one, and then not a whole lot we can do on the second. I'm going to go ahead and write that as 2 times the natural log of 3x plus 8. Sometimes you'll see that 2 using the power rule, where you would see it 3x plus 8 quantity squared, but the first one is is just fine. Alright, now let's look at y equal 3 to the x log base 3 of x. So again, we have a product rule here. Our first is 3 to the x, then the derivative of the log base 3 of x, that's going to be 1 over, in this case our u is just x, so we get 1 over x, but our logarithm is not base e, so we need to multiply by the derivative or the natural log of that base in the denominator plus the second log base 3 of x times the derivative of 3 to the x is 3 to the x, and then with an exponential, remember if our base is not e, we multiply by the natural log of the base there in the numerator. So here we get 3 to the x over x times the natural log of 3 plus log base 3 of x times 3 to the x times the natural log of 3. Now we can simplify this just a little bit if we use the change of base rule. Remember that log base a of x is the same thing as log base b of x divided by log base b of a. In this case, our b would be that natural exponential. And so we could rewrite this as the natural log of x over the natural log of 3. And then that's still multiplied by 3 to the x times the natural log of 3. And those natural log of 3's are going to simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out my 3 to the x and then we'll get 1 over x natural log of 3 plus the natural log of x. Now let's look at one that involves a product or a quotient. So here we have 7 times the natural log of x plus 2 all over x squared. So quotient rule bottom times the derivative of the top is going to be 7 times the natural log of our u here is x plus 2, so u prime over u is going to be 1 over x plus 2. That is a natural log, so we don't need the natural log of the base in there. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x all over the bottom squared. Now if we look for a greatest common factor, all um, of the terms in the numerator have a 7 and an x, so we can pull that out completely. That'll leave us with 1x out of this x squared and then our fraction, so we'll have x over x plus 2 minus, we're pulling out the 7 and the x, but we're left with 2 times the natural log of x plus 2. And then in the denominator, we have a power raised to a power, so we multiply those exponents, and we get x to the fourth. And we can reduce this. We have an x on the top and the bottom, so we can divide that out. 
And we also have a complex fraction here, and we typically don't like fractions within the fraction, so let's go ahead and simplify that by multiplying everything by our denominator, x plus 2. We're going to distribute that to both of the terms in the numerator. And so we're going to get 7 times x minus, we'll get 2 times x plus 2 times the natural log of x plus 2. When we distribute it to this first term, it's going to cancel out that denominator, leaving just with the x in the numerator. And then it, nothing cancels, and so we'll just have those three pieces multiplied together. And then in the denominator, we'll get x cubed times x plus 2. And we don't have anything that's common that we can pull out of everything. And so that would be our final derivative. All right, I'll see you guys next time.